Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm happy to bring you episode 12 to my series Inside the Mind of a Diamond. All these moments were recorded on my Twitch channel, so be sure to head on over if you haven't already to watch these moments unfold alive. We were on my second account this week trying to get it to Diamond, and I got some great footage for quick peeks, situational awareness, and nasty runouts. I hope you enjoy. Here on Oregon when the site is downstairs, as many of you know I prefer to be roaming upstairs in the meeting hall. A lot of the attacks into the laundry room center around the ability to get the hatches open. If you can have a couple of roamers try and stop their push at the very beginning, you might take their Habana and or Thermite out of the round. Uh, I chose to hold this angle in the garage first because most attackers will break the garage window and try and hop through. Given that this is a heavily contested area, it's also important to not reload right after you kill someone. Jesus. Never mind. Do you think I'll fight down first? Well, Roy's being Upon hearing glass breaking, I'm able to turn my attention down the hall and quickly lean into the kill. Quick peeking on console is super effective since you're giving yourself maximum cover and the fastest reaction time. This is literally the epitome of not toxic. Op four, land oh, is toxic. Dang you, dang you, no, that was gonna be my 4K, bro. <laughs> I was coming for her. In this clip I pre-fired two enemies due to sound recognition. One is Valkyrie getting off her cams and the second is Bandit running up the stairs. Can you recognize and know how to respond to these sounds? Ella's in a meeting hall. I think the shoot the bio had don't be afraid to start shooting before you actually see your opponent. The bullets that leave your gun first just might be the bullets you needed to keep yourself at that 1 HP. After catching the runout, it's now a 2v3 with a little over a minute to go. In situations where you're out of drones, map knowledge becomes your best friend. I have to get upstairs, so the first angle someone could have on me would be from the armory. Did you? Did anyone turn out meeting hall yet? Negative. Oh my gosh. Probably gonna die. Now that I know one of them is inside armory, it's important to not tunnel vision on that spot, but to keep your ears open for possible rotations. Mew could be calling for help since he's pinned. Be aware also that they could hop out of the window and down into garage to escape. If you hear someone drop around this area, that's probably what happened. Activity, Hearing the footsteps underneath, I knew to immediately turn and fire after I pulled the pin out. Underneath, underneath. With a 1v1 and low health, remember to drop down prone to check for any lesion traps, as you may have to sprint in. All I can do is check the common angle spots and then step in to see if it's contested or if I'm securing. Secure the room. Protect the Let's go. In garage. Ash and Habana are upstairs in bar. Here on Clubhouse, I typically play these main stairs with Bandit or even Pulse. Pulse is great to know where they are precisely on the stairs, but barbed wire at the top and mid part of the stairs works great too, in slowing a push and hearing roughly where they are. I was pushed back downstairs given I was outgunned by Habana and Ash. I've started holding an angle on the right side of the main door frame from the hallway, given the angle from the motor room itself is the most common place to see a defender. While this angle isn't drastically different, it's always nice to reposition to hopefully catch your opponent off guard. This angle on the stairs is really popular though, so be sure to make your angle as tight as possible so you have less of a chance of being pre-fired directly. Okay. Okay. Just... 
I mean, I'll take the Roy carry. Play safe, we got time. One's gonna drone down my steps. Don't worry about the drone. Down to 15 seconds. With few seconds left and Habana flashbanging, she's probably thinking she can flash and run in, assuming I'm not blind. I figured her gun would probably be down in the running animation, so I decided to aggressively peek. Despite this not being the case, fortunately I was still able to outgun her. Yes sir, let's go! That's a 5-0 comeback, baby. Heck yeah. Here I wanted to show you guys three favorite runouts of mine that typically work pretty well. Runouts are all about the angles you can create on an enemy's position. If you're to do it, you need to prep the window by hitting it twice at the bottom for an easy vault animation. Oh, to your right, to your right. He's yep, yep, yep. Oh, you're a beast. Hey. This is a very boring round. You will be detected if you remain in the area. There's one master bed. Oh, that was carrier. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> I'm very bored. You'll be detected if you remain in this area. Your location has been compromised. Segregation. Try. Go get them. You have entered an enemy controlled area. When time is running out, you and your team need to push at the same time so you can trade kill for kill. Popping into the objective one at a time as people die only gives your defenders time to turn to each attacker. Got Ella. I need you guys down here. Where are we? Ten seconds. Secure the biohazard. Oh, we're securing what? If you start securing, immediately think where the last defender could come from. In this case, it was the dirt tunnel. A dirt? If you guys see that part of the objective goes completely unreinforced, now is the time to rush. Oh my god, my aim. The diffuser has been secured. No. I got him. I got him, Archie. Here on Coastline, my team surrounds the site, but we're still trying to figure out where all the defenders are. If you're working your way back to the team, be extra attentive to the sounds you hear. You become more of a backup player that is protecting your team against flanks. I got your back with the drone up the stairs. Yikes. Wait, what? Oh, there's another one. Nice. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. I do apologize for the lateness of the video. College has been kicking up heavy in the second half of this semester. That being said, I am streaming consistently on my Twitch channel if you'd like to watch more often. Typically from Wednesday through Saturday, I'll end up picking three days of which to stream. In addition, Jake from my Discord set up a GoFundMe to get me an Xbox. So if you're an Xbox person and want to get the chance to play with me, that would be your way of doing so. I probably wouldn't end up making videos on Xbox, but I would definitely stream it to play with y'all that are on that console. It amazes me the things y'all are willing to do, so the link for that will be down in the comments. But until the next one, guys, I'll see you all very soon.